Hi, my name is Eve Pierpont, and I am the music feature section editor for Mixdown. I'm here today with Joey Santiago from the Pixies. Hi, Joey. Hello. All right. So this album seems to have longer songs and a new type of energy. What was different while recording Dog Roll versus previous records? Was there a different type of dynamic among the band? I, th I think we were just more com comfortable with, each with uh, all five of us. So that's Tom and um, Paz um, um, getting just more comfortable. It's like, a, what is it, our third one with them? Yeah, it's our third one with them. So, yeah, we, we, that's all it is. It's just comfortable. I, mean, I don't know about the longer songs. I don't know how that came about, but it just might be growth or something. Awesome. Uh, so you wrote lyrics for Dregs of the Wine, and the song tells a story of an almost magical and epic party life. I read that this song reflects on memories of you and Black Francis back in the 90s. Were those direct references to what you guys did, or how does oh, it he, look he, back he at wrote, that? He wrote those lyrics. I wrote Pagan Man. Oh, That's okay. I wrote. I, I wrote the music for that one. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, were, well, even if you wrote them, were those, uh, were those actually some, some memories of yeah. under the Hollywood sign? Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> we, um, you know, we did a lot of crazy stuff. That's awesome. That's so cool. Um, so I saw you fell in love with the 1950s Martin guitar mm -hmm. and uh, you were kind of playing uh, around with that when you wrote the Dregs of the Wine instrumentals. Mm -hmm. uh, so tell me a little bit about playing that guitar and how you think that contributed it to the sound of dog roll. Uh, well, it's an acoustic guitar that, um, so, uh, that I really enjoyed playing um it just happened to be that one it was just like the best one of the bunch um it could have been easily anything it could have been you know one that's made 2000 something but this one just spoke to me and it's an acoustic guitar so in acoustic guitars you would tend to i would tend to stack chords so that's what that's what a part par, a big part of the songs are chord structure so that's it. It's just simple. I try to make it as simple as possible, but there's a lot of parts in it, but it's a lot simpler to play than what it sounds like. Gotcha. How do you decide when to record with an acoustic guitar versus electric? I actually don't do any acoustic guitars on the album. Um, I wanted to, but I think um, uh Tom uh, was just used to Charles playing, playing it. Anyways, I, I couldn't have done it. I want him to use my acoustic guitars, what I want him to do, but that didn't happen. Oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. uh, so what was the experience like writing Pagan Man? Was it different than previous experiences? Oh, geez. Yeah, I mean, it's my first time doing lyrics. I mean, it's... Uh, um, it was a fun project. Pagan Man became the title. That's the first thing I had. And then um, a bunch of words came and then I had to make sense of it. That's it. You know? <laughs> gotcha. Um, so, and it's a Pixies podcast, Dog Girl Special. I heard that you used a Marconi guitar that added to the spookiness of the haunted of haunted house uh did you uh specifically pick that guitar knowing it would kind of have that effect or did it just happen yeah i was just doing like some uh neo stuff uh sprinkled throughout the whole album really i just like the way it um you know you know any marconics marconi's classic so that's that's my inspiration Awesome. Uh, so also in the podcast, I heard that when your uh, your guitar parts were put on the song Dog Roll, it kind of pivoted the sound due to the carpet of weirdness that you added. Did you expect to make the song a different vibe or can you speak to that at all? Uh, well, I, I could speak to most of them. I just... Um, um... 
I tell, I, Tom and I have this agreement that I will never be, ever be in the headphone mix of the other band members. That way I could fool around. Because when we're doing that stuff, it's, um, when we're recording with the drums, it, ha it has to be in a structure. Um, and everyone knows what they're doing, basically. You know, I mean, the bass can switch around, but she has to stick, Paz has to stick within the chord structure. Charles obviously is doing that. Dave has to go through the parts. And I can, I don't have a part yet. <laughs> so I'm trying to make it up on the fly. Um, so I'm taking a lot of chances. And if they were to hear that, they would mess up. So, and it gives me um, um, more comfort knowing I can do whatever the hell I want. That's awesome. Tom, you said, uh... Tom, Tom's listening to it. Tom is listening to it. And Tom will make notes on what I did well. And he'd go, then he'd tell us between takes and he'd say, yeah, Joey, that was really, really good. You know? And then I'd hear Charles say, I want to hear it. He'd go, uh -uh, no, you can't hear it. No, not yet. It's still being worked on. You, you know? said you do that for all songs. All of them. That's super interesting. Huh? Have you always done that with the Pixies? Like since the, the beginning? No, not really. Because sometimes in the beginning of the Pixies, I already knew what I was playing because we were playing that stuff live already. So it didn't really matter. You know, they would still have me down anyways or turn me off. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't blame them. You know, it's really uh, annoying. Yeah, 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 gotcha. So that's super interesting. That's cool. Um, so then uh, Tom Dalgetty helped decide which of the 40 songs would make it onto the album. Uh, do you know, like, the process beside which, like, songs make it and which don't? Or uh, would you have made any changes to what songs would have gone on there? Well, the best ones make it, definitely. And some of them didn't make it because it, um, some other great ones didn't make it because it wouldn't fit the um, overall uh, construct of the record as a thought process. You know, yeah. uh, we're still in that old school way of uh, making an album. Um, so, you know, hey, we don't have a ballad. Let's go get a ballad in here. You know, about our ballad would be a slower song. Uh, we gonna need a rocking one. You know, it's just, uh, and we trust Tom to uh, pick the songs. That way, we're not arguing amongst ourselves. You know, mm -hmm. having debates amongst ourselves. Yeah, I could imagine that. That could happen, you know, with a band, mm -hmm. multiple people, multiple personalities, multiple opinions. So I get that. Mm -hmm. um, but I do feel like the order of the songs has a flow that kind of tells the story itself. Can you speak to that at all? Did you notice that or? Yeah, I noticed that. Um, Tom already had a running order in his head, I believe, because uh, he knew Dog World was going to be the last one. So and he knew the first one already. And then all he had to do was fill in the blanks. I made one just for the hell of it and gave it to him and his was a lot better. Gotcha. Um, so then I read that Human Crime was originally a country song, but then ended up being transformed to a pixie song. Uh, how was it to remake that song and adapt it to the band's style? I never heard it as a country song. It was, uh, you know, it was um, uh, emailed to us as the basic that vibe already so i never heard of this that maybe, maybe we should do that version if that's what he came up with yeah 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 i was reading it was between um making songs for you guys and then um i think it was him and somebody else or some something else that was like more of a country vibe but then tom wanted it or somebody wanted it for you guys. So then it was adapted to more of a pixie style. So I was just wondering because I just feel like that would have been very interesting to take a country song and make it more of a different style. So yeah, that's cool though. 
Um, so then being a titan of the alt rock genre and now coming out with a record that really showcases kind of the wide array of genres that you were able to mix in there. Like there's some pox, pop, some folk. Um, are there any styles you would want to try to incorporate in the future? Maybe reggae. Yeah. That would be cool. Oh, big fat dub music. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I feel like reggae would be really cool to to try to mix in, definitely. Have any um, reggae artists that you really love? I like the ska artist, uh, Desmond Decker. Hmm. And Lee Scratch, obviously, is great. Um, um, yeah, there's a bunch of them, but Desmond Decker would be one of them. Gotcha. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Um, so I know you you were born in the Philippines, right? Mm -hmm. Um, that's awesome. Do you ever try to I don't know incorporate Filipino music? Do you try to tap into those roots at all ever, even if it's just Pixies or self playing when you're by yourself? I really don't know if they have such a genre as Filipino music, other than yeah. they would. Speaking Tagalog, which is the main language, maybe we can incorporate that at, gotcha. uh, at some point, you know, give them the nod. But uh, yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just kind of thought about that and just thought I'd ask. Um, mm -hmm. Well, that's kind of all the questions that I had. Do you want to add anything or? No, that's about it. Just, gotcha. uh, just. Did you just get done with touring? Hmm? Did you just get done with touring? Oh, uh, one leg. Yeah, uh, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's yeah, we take breaks, but it's not, you know, we're planned through, uh, through the summer of 2023. You know, we've already got, we're already booked through that. Cool, so. are you looking forward to that? Oh yeah, yeah, we're going to Japan next in about a few weeks actually. Oh, that'll be awesome. That's cool. Aw, well, it's been such a pleasure to interview you and talk to you. I am so honored. When I heard we were doing an interview with the Pixies, I was like, I have to, I have to do that. It was so exciting. <laughs> right. Thank you, Ava. Yeah, thank you.